The NHL may not be afraid of the Vancouver Canucks this season, but they should be very afraid of this man. Elias Pettersson may be the sole bright spot for an otherwise abysmal season for the Vancouver Canucks. The Canucks have been a circus all year long that has been surrounded by questionable management and a lot of drama. Despite all that, Pettersson sits in the top 10 for NHL in scoring and top five in even strength points. Although this special season has been somewhat lost in all the noise, let's look at what makes Elias Pettersson one of the best young centermen in the NHL. Like any elite level player, the physical skills are all there. He's got great hands, good skater, and obviously a crazy hard shot, but the knock on him has always been his strength. This has never stopped Pedersen from being an elite talent, but being a leaner build in the middle of the ice means that you have to play a smart game. A great indicator of an elite player is the amount of offense they generate in 5-on-5 and even strength situations. Pedersen is among the league's best in this category. In order to do that, you need to know exactly how to create space with the puck and find space without it. Pedersen knows how to do both extremely well. With the puck, Pedersen is extremely calculated with his possession. Take this rush goal here against the Dallas Stars. Pedersen gets the puck in his own end and now faces a one-on-two situation. This is where the play usually dies out, but Pedersen has his head up, scans, and notices something he likes. On the right side of the ice, he sees forward Joe Pavelski covering for his defenseman. Pedersen immediately targets this side of the ice, knowing that it'll be way easier to enter the zone against a forward rather than going up against a natural defender. Pedersen swings all the way out wide as that far defender continues to pressure him, but then eventually lays off. Just as Pedersen drew it up, Pavelski gives him the blue line and a gap for him to fire his wrister, and it ends up in the back of the net. It's these little details that make Pedersen so dangerous. Now, of course, he's able to do this because his eyes are up and he's constantly scanning where the spaces are in between defensemen. Even when there's no great option, Pedersen isn't afraid to hold on to it and wait for a better option to become available and then make a play. This awareness is a big factor for his play away from the puck as well. For such a skillful and leaner player, you would think that Pedersen's best work comes from the perimeter, but that's not the case whatsoever. Looking at the heat map of where Elias Pettersson has scored his goals in his career, 41% of them have come in the hash mark area right here. If you go back and also look at the majority of his goals from just this season, almost all of them come from this area of the ice. I think his five point game against Seattle this year shows this perfectly. On this play, Pedersen is constantly seeking open space in high danger areas between defenders to skate into. Watch him hunt down this 50-50 puck by engaging in very limited contact and then just swoop in to take possession and continue the play. As he dishes this puck to the point, I love how he dives right back into the hash mark area again into space and then sets up shop right in front of the goalie's eyes and tips a puck home. He doesn't overwhelm defenders with his physicality, but instead he simply outsmarts them. By constantly moving his feet and diving in and out of space, at the right time, Pedersen is always in a dangerous spot to score a goal. From a team perspective, there isn't a lot on the Vancouver Canucks that makes a lot of teams afraid, but when Elias Pedersen is on the ice, they should be very aware. His raw skill alone is enough to intimidate defenders, but you combine that with his awareness, you have one of the game's best young centermen. So I hope you all enjoyed the breakdown. Let me know if you think Pedersen is a top 10 player in the league and if there's anything that stands out to you in his game this season. Drop a comment down below and before we end the video, I want to thank our sponsor Hockey Training. If you're a hockey player who wants to improve your game, the Hockey Training app and YouTube channel is the best place to be. Armed with drills inspired by some of the best NHL players in the world, it is the best place to take your game to the next level off the ice. If you're interested, I'll leave those links in the bio down below. And also just on a personal note, I want to thank each and every one of you for allowing me to hit 30,000 subscribers on this channel. I absolutely love making videos about hockey every single day. And I really appreciate the support that you guys give on every video, all the comments. So thank you all. And if you want to see more videos just like this one, click on any of the links right here.